this trite, cutesy saying on it that I deleted almost before I finished reading it. You see, I really hate trite, cutesy sayings. They're often wrong, and they're, if they're not wrong, they're generally so simplistic they don't apply to any life that I'm aware of. But this one kept tramping through my brain, you know, kind of like those songs that just won't leave you alone. The will of God will never take you, or the grace of God will not protect you. Now, how is this applicable? Well, there are challenges in the Bible that are rather daunting. For example, Luke 6. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you on the cheek, turn them the other one also. If someone takes your coat, do not withhold your shirt from them. Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. What, are you nuts? Why did I just tattoo victim across my forehead and walk in some major city? The will of God will never take you where the grace of God will not protect you. And remember Matthew 10, Jesus sends out his disciples, telling them, As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven is near. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse those who have leprosy, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. Pretty cool. But then it goes on. I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore be shrewd as snakes, as innocent as doves. Be on your guard. You will be handed over to local councils and be flogged in the synagogues. On my account you will be brought before governors and kings as witnesses to them and to the Gentiles. But when they arrest you, do not worry about what, you, uh, what to say or how to say it. At that time, you will be given what to say. For it will not be you speaking, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Now, I know what I would be thinking. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm more of a behind-the-scenes kind of guy, Lord. Uh, what do you have that, uh, as far as jobs go that are not as risky or even scary? Well, the disciples, fortunately, were a different breed, though. They went. And what did they find out? The will of God will never take you, or the grace of God will not protect you. Verse 17. They returned with joy and said, Lord, even the demons submit to us in your name. Sometimes, even the simple act of giving can be scary. But always remember, the will of God will never take you, or the grace of God will not protect you. Let's pray. Father, what a privilege it is to be able to give to your kingdom to help accomplish your will to see your grace magnified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.